Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use Vida XL's eBay store to find products. Now, this method can be used with any retailer that has an eBay store, it's not just for Vida XL. So, before I go ahead and do this, if you're new to the channel, I recommend going and hitting subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And I upload daily about making money online. And give me a thumbs up while you're there. So, let's go ahead and jump over to eBay. So here we are over on eBay. Now this video isn't going to take long at all. I just want to show you a method to find products if you're struggling to find stuff to list. Now it's all well and good doing optimization where we go straight over to the source. That could be any source, Argos, Amazon, find products and completely optimize the title. But if you have no idea what sells on eBay, then I suggest doing SN optimization so you get a better understanding and find products that are actually selling already. And we just optimize the title. So you want to come over to here, advanced search. The way we just did that was up here in the right hand corner, just here, advanced. We click on that, we go to best seller, and then we put in Vida XL's um, store name. So that is Vida XL UK. Then I'm just going to do best match and search. So now this is going to pull up the Vida XL's eBay store. What we're going to do is just going to go over to sold. Could even go to completed listings, it doesn't matter. Either way, completed or sold. So we're just going to go to sold listings and see what Vida XL's eBay store has been selling. Now, what I like to do as well is just narrow it down a little bit more. So I want items priced above £20. And now we've got all these categories we can go through. Let's go to Garden and Patio, for example. Now they have sold 826 items in Garden and Patio category. Now what we could do, hold on, let's just go to Buy It Now. We don't want any auctions in this. So here we are, we now have a list of items that Vida XL's eBay store is selling. Now we could go through each one of these, see how many they've sold, and see if we would like to sell them ourselves. So let's take a little look at this one. As you can see, they've sold 27. Let's see when they've sold them. Okay, so we got two, three, four, we got five of these sold in March. Quite a lot of them just on the 30th, what was that, yesterday. So you could potentially list this item. I would rewrite this listing. Now if you want to know how to optimize titles, you can watch a video up here in the right hand corner. So go through and check it out, more about optimization. But I would rewrite this title. Yes, there's going to be keywords already in here, which I would also put in my title. But I would try and out-title my competition so I could make more sales. But you could potentially sell this one. So let's go through. Let's try the next one. Vida XL. See, you wouldn't put Vida XL in the title. So I would take that out of the title. What well, we got outdoor garden patio trellis. See, I would rewrite that a little bit because I don't think many people are going to put outdoor garden patio trellis to find this item. Again, more about optimization up here. Go through and check it out. But they've sold five of these items one in February, mainly in March. So that's an item we could potentially sell ourselves and completely optimize the title. Their title's okay, but I reckon you could do a better job at titling this one. But again, that's another product that we could potentially sell. You could go through all these categories in the garden and patio. We could even go back one more. We could go to, let's go back again. Actually, let's go to see all categories. Let's go to that's not all categories. Come on. Let's go back one more time. Here we go. 
So you could potentially go through all of these categories. So you could go through furniture, coffee tables. Let's have a look at coffee tables. What else you could do? You could, if you didn't want prices just above 20 quid, you could put in above 50 quid and find higher priced items. You know, there's so many different ways you can filter the search over here to find certain items that are already selling. Now, like I said, this method does you this method can be used with other retailers eBay stores. Now there's not many of them. I think there's Domu, Vida XL, Argos, but you can use this method to find products that are already selling and then just out title your competition and try and make sales this way. Again, the main reason I do kind of some optimization at the minute is just to get a better understanding of what actually sells on eBay. Before I got into drop shipping, I didn't really do much e-commerce at all. So I haven't really got an eye for finding great products straight out the gate that would sell. Like, you know, with optimization, you would go straight over, let's say, to Vida XL and just start listing products on your eBay store. Now, if you have no idea what's going to sell, you could be listing quite a few items and you wouldn't make no sales especially if you don't understand optimization either so doing it this way you're getting an understanding of what is already selling so you have a better chance of selling them yourselves so let's go to buy it now so what's that hammered aluminium 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 I can't even say that word this morning stool side table lamp coffee so you could, I'm not too sure about that item. Again, you don't want to go through and list every single one of their items. If you look at something and it looks really undervalued, then go ahead, list it yourself and mark up by your 40%. You don't want to be selling items with a lower perceived value and then you're selling them for a high perceived value because you wouldn't make many sales, if you know what I mean. See, that looks... And there's like a nice table which could potentially be sold for more than 50 quid. So let's open that up in a new tab, take a little look. But this method, again, is just a real quick way to have to find items that you can sell because you know they've got a track record of selling, so you're more likely to make sales, especially if your title is better than the supplier that you're getting them from. Now in this is just a bunch of keywords. They haven't got coffee table at the beginning. The beginning of your title is the most important. And they've got new modern high gloss glass. No one's really going to be typing that into eBay, are they? So you'd put something about the coffee table at the beginning. So say modern modern glass coffee table and you would have that at the beginning instead of new modern high gloss again if you want to understand optimization i recommend going up here and watching the video it's only five ten minute video so it doesn't take long at all but as you can see this item has sold 34 maybe not only one in march so let's close that one let's take another look at more of their items but look, even in the even in coffee tables, we got 99 potential items that we could list. Now, I don't recommend just using one supplier. I do recommend diversifying across a few suppliers for reasons like if you're sourcing items all just for one supplier, and then you have problems with that one supplier, then you're going to have problems with all of your listings. So diversify and use a different a few different retailers now this video is coming up to 10 minutes so I'm gonna stop it soon because I like to keep my videos nice simple short and to the point but again this method is so easy just to start finding products you go to there to your retailers eBay store filter it through sold listings and then you can look through the categories put in a price that you want to find those items and just go through and find them see how many they've sold and if it's worth selling yourself you could completely snipe their listings but again then you're going to be in direct competition with the same listing so you're better off just completely optimizing the title 
scroll down let's take a look at yeah that's 111 that's 97 that looks like a solid wood table and I bet there's a few people willing to pay more than 97.99 for this I wouldn't but I bet there's some people out there 47 sold one in March February January okay so that hasn't sold very many again you want to find hot selling items and then list them yourselves and completely optimize the title so I'm going to keep that here so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing that being said I've been Paddy this has been Stacking Profit and I'll see you again soon